Okay, hello and welcome to yet another episode of Vault Hunters. But we have Tinkers, so it's Vault Hunters Plus. Uh, essentially, in this episode, we're going to run one vault after making our gear absolutely crazy. This is going to take a bit of time, but I currently have the resources necessary. I made a bunch of creative abilities and creative defense slots, which I will be adding to our stuff. Now, I also have the Tinkers, Anvils, and Nether Stars required for a creative upgrade. So, these creative upgrades, I'll have 64 of them, and they will be added to make all of our tools and armor indestructible. I'll go ahead and get that, get all the materials that we're going to need uh, here into this boss crate. It's going to take a bit, so I probably will have to do a lot of editing and work for this video so please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it anyway uh yeah let let, let me show you all of the stuff that we're gonna need this isn't even everything that we need because there this is barely enough for getting unbreakable on all the stuff um unbreakable i believe takes um it's going to be the reinforcements where is that Reinforce. Max level 5. It takes an upgrade. Okay. So let's grab the upgrades and then let's just shift click. All these guys in. Actually, we're going to need some space for our armor. I did accidentally mess up my inventory while I was doing the setup for this. So, sorry. I I tried. Um, Okay. So, one. Oh, yeah. I need upgrades. So, we need. We already have reinforced two on here or three so now it's going from to reinforce five and then from reinforced five we can make it unbreakable but first let's just reinforce five everything after i put the upgrades on so two and then we go boop boop okay and then two more upgrades on the manual leggings and two more of you and then we put you back and then two of you and now more of you perfect okay so that's that next is going to be shulker shells netherite and dragon's breath and when combined together with this stuff so you put dragon breath at the top these guys go at the bottom and these guys go heat wait shoot Ability mo ability slots. Uh, forgot about that. Shh, you guys saw nothing. Uh, just for you. Perfect. And creative ability slots. Might as well put them on all pieces of armor first. And now we can just simply go through and do this. And now, unbreakable. And so the bar turns white. And now they're all unbreakable, which means they, they can't take damage anymore, which is really, really nice. Uh, so I guess the next thing to do is do that with our current tools. We should all have ability slots and upgrade slots still, except for this one. So we should be able to just do that with the tools as well. I do need to upgrade the tools a bit currently. Uh, that way this guy has five. This guy needs five, which is just two more. This one needs three more, because it's got a two, and this one also needs three more. I should probably upgrade these to better stuff than Tinker's Bronze, but I'm working on it, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Finally, five. And now let's just get this guy finished off. Right here. There we go. It does add a bit of an unfortunate look on the tools, but it, it'll get better eventually, hopefully. Um, okay, next we gotta we gotta get the uh, the unbreakable part, uh, which is easy. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely should be probably better at this than I am. Wait, how do I keep? Okay, well, at least we still have the helmet. Because that helmet is very important. Huh? 
Okay. Well, that was weird. Uh, netherite. Oh, yeah. Shoot. I should... Screw it. Uh, netherite. Uh, upgrade slot. Yay! I forgot about that. So, one upgrade slot. <laughs> an upgrade slot. Upgrade slot and another upgrade slot. And now we should be able to just netherite these all up. And now... I should be able to actually shulker them. And this stupid helmet thing. I forget you can wear a shulkered shell as a helmet now. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay. Well, now they're all unbreakable as well. So that's fine. And now what we can focus on doing next uh, is I should probably fix them up. I'll do that in a bit. But next I'm thinking we uh, add thorns to our armor. I believe cactus, if we add it, is going to end up being an upgrade. Max of three with 25 costing each. So we might not be able to fully get it, but we can at least get close. So three, so 12 total upgrades. We go one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, and finally the boots. One, two, three, perfect. Okay, now let's just get the cactus on. One, two. Uh, we'll do two for the helmet starting, and then we'll do three for the chest plates, and three for the leggings. Two, three. I couldn't get more cactus. I certainly tried, uh, but there just wasn't enough. Um, so I'm working on it. I'll get it fixed in, in the future. But there's also uh, a couple more things that I wanted to do, which is why I have phantom membrane. I had to farm phantoms for it, and it was kind of annoying. But overall, I think it's worth it for the boot upgrades. So adding these ability slot for this one, okay? You'll, you'll see what it is in a second. Uh, these are all going to take ability slots, so it's probably going to end up being like 15 ability slots overall. Four, five. Uh, we'll just add 10 ability slots for now. Okay, the phantom membrane, the pistons, and the sky slime will all add an extra jump. Got double jump three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and finally double jump ten. Okay. Next, what we're gonna add is glowstone for light speed, which means that in light we run even faster. And I believe it takes sixteen per. Yeah, can't be above level three. That's fine. Next. This one does take an ability modifier, I do believe. And it is for Bouncy. Can I Bouncy 2? What did I just do? Uh... I don't, I don't even know what I just did. Anyway, um, <laughs> essentially, now we have Slime Boots. So now we bounce, which is cool. And also, in light, we move a little bit faster. And, uh, that's pretty much all of the upgrades that I want to do for this episode. Uh, I will add a compass, because I believe that does add something that's useful. Uh, one upgrade slot, got it. Um, and I am making a lot more upgrade slots, or upgrades, because uh, they are very useful. Um, yeah, it, it's taking a bit longer than I'm expecting. Uh, to actually get through all this. So, I hope you enjoyed that part of the video. And now, we're actually just going to run this vault and see how it goes. I'm going to repair the armor in between this episode and next. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just hop in. Hard, challenging, crowded vaults. Cool. That's neat. Um. Okay, that's the plus, and... Okay, that's gonna be a bit of a an annoyance. You know what? Let's just let's just do this. 
Let's just run and... Wait, I can just do jumble jumps to increase speed. This is so dumb. I might want to take off slime though, because it is getting a bit annoying. Maybe we make a pair without the slime, uh, just for fault runs. But uh, I'll just cut to the end of this fault, I guess. Uh, see you then, I guess. Uh, probably gonna take a while, so uh, yeah, I shall see you then. Okay, well, that was a lot quicker than I was expecting. Um, why is it invisible? That's not nice. Why are you invisible? Why? Why? Uh, huh? Um. Well, that, that was interesting. Good thing that I ended up being able to see them because they were on fire, but jeez, I was... I thought I might have been on peaceful for a second, but I knew I wasn't because I heard all the zombies. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Got an artifact. Cool. I'm going to add you right there. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did... Make sure to like the video and subscribe. GG's. Peace. Have a great time. See you next time.